Good day. This is more review from last year. If you remember last year, this sheet was very confusing and then it became straightforward when we did quite a few examples. So the way the game worked was on the left side, you figured out the number of valence electrons you had to play with that you would be installing into your molecule or ion. If it happened to be an ion, if it was a negative ion, you'd get more dots to play with. If it was a positive ion like ammonium, you'd have to take away a dot, an electron. Then the second step was to figure out how many electrons each element in the compound or ion wanted in a perfect world if it could be on its own. Step three was finding the difference between these two numbers, bigger minus smaller, dividing by two because there are two electrons per bond, and from that, you would figure out A, how many electrons you had to play with in one, and two, how many bonds. And then you would start trying to make things fairly symmetrical, loading in the dots, making sure things like hydrogen had two electrons. Most other elements had eight electrons around them. And things like typically carbon would have four bonds, no lone pairs. Nitrogen would have three bonds, one low pair, lone pair. Oxygen would have two bonds and two lone pairs, and something like chlorine would have three lone pairs and just one bond. And then we would move to structural diagrams, something we're going to be doing more heavily in this course. So if you need some examples, I'll have to find those other videos and post them again. But this is stuff you're supposed to know from last year in Science 10.